I think you go back to the best interest standard, and that's the, your, your star and guide for figuring out where the child is going to live after the divorce. Another thing that you have to take into consideration as well is where is the child going to be most comfortable. If one party retains the house, the child may be very comfortable living in that house and not want to leave that house because it's the only thing they know. One of the things that I think parents sometimes forget is that when the parents break up, the children are looking for stability and for things that they know and can depend on. And if they can't depend upon the parents anymore, then maybe they, they need to have that same venue that they've always known, the house.